Well, I stopped at the hardware store today and I grabbed a couple of uh, large uh, cotter pins. This one's a still pretty sloppy in that hole, so could have even gotten something bigger than that. And then uh, this one, the hole's smaller on this pin, so this smaller cotter pin is actually kind of a perfect fit. So, yeah, guess now we can test it out. All right. Get in the stowed position in order to drive away. I just took out the rest of that stump right there. Still haven't done anything really major with this thing. But right now, no leakage, so that's good. I will check my fittings. Not like they're leaking either. So. I think the next thing I might want to do is I might want to uh, redo the handles here because I don't like the geometry and the weird angle that they're in. Well, I parked it. I'll go show you what I did. But before I head over there, I'll double check and yeah, still no leaks on that cylinder, which is good news. Well, first I, of course, I just pulled out the rest of what was left of that little stump that I had started initially before I figured the leak was so bad and then just now I pulled out two stumps over here small ones and I definitely uh, put some stress on the machine doing that uh, pulling that stump out right there these are probably I'd say these are about uh, 10 inch diameter pine trees shallow root system not that much to deal with and what I discovered was when I would get a good uh, hook at the bottom of the stump the machine just doesn't have the power to pull it out and it's not a limitation of the uh like uh something happening with the hydraulics i think it's a limitation on the machine i tried to use the dipper stick to pull out and that drags the whole machine backwards and this big mess right here and right here is where it actually just dragged the stabilizer legs right along the ground underneath the soil plowed them in so uh, that's part of the limitations of a backhoe attachment on a tractor as opposed to a dedicated backhoe which has the weight and the power to to do something more in you know, a work like this more easily so you know small jobs and digging a little at a time I think it'll be just fine but it's not really going to be that good for uh, pulling stumps and the other thing too is now you know I, I wanted to get these stumps out of here so I could I could mow <laughs> and the irony is the devastation left behind after doing the uh, the hoe work uh, makes it even less uh, less desirable to mow over here than before. So I think the better move is for me to just cut you know these stumps down, flush with the ground as close as I can with the chainsaw, which dulls the chain. So I hate using chainsaws to do that. But the the fact of the matter is that if the stumps are low enough to the ground. If I keep the cutter blade up high enough, I can just go right over them. So, you can see there's a gaggle of them over there. There's all pine, small pine trees that I cut down, but I left the, uh, I left about four or five feet of tree trunk with the thinking that I would be able to use the trunk as leverage and pull on the top of the trunk with the backhoe and maybe even uproot them that way. Problem is, I did these about a year and a half, two years ago, and they've actually already dried out and died so badly that what happens is when I hook onto them and try and pull them, uh, they snap. <laughs> and then I gotta deal with digging out the stump, so. All right, but I'm satisfied for now. I might be able to get more power out of that machine if I wanna go through the trouble of which probably isn't a bad idea to put a, uh, a T in so that I can put a uh, pressure gauge on the hydraulic system and uh, make sure that my relief valves are set to the proper level. Now I could set them to the, you know, I could do that and set them to the specs in the manual and then the relief valves wouldn't kick in as soon and that would put more power to the uh, hydraulic system. Um, the drawback to that is it is an older system 
So I run the risk of um, rupturing old hoses more easily. Uh, also, I have, don't forget we still don't know what's going on with that dipper stick cylinder that supposedly the top nut on that was popping off when it was put under severe strain. So you can imagine if that, ooh, the mosquitoes are bad out here. You can imagine if that happens, it's not good. Well, I gotta run. These mosquitoes are really bad today. Well, I was trying to move this rock with the Oliver, and it's a very big rock, but I was just really trying to drag it. I wasn't trying to lift it. And unfortunately, I stressed that cylinder that I had uh, talked about recently that he had talked about that that popped out, and sure enough, it just popped the top nut right out and fluid started spewing out. And then I tried moving the thing and I lost all hydraulics. And then the engine stalled and I was like, what the heck? And I really got worried. And then I realized what happened was my quick connect here. This is the one I, well, I don't know, probably about a hundred videos ago I was messing with. It, uh, it let go. So that's actually popped out. I don't know if you can see it, but it's popped out part way. So what happened is when it pops out, the check valve closes. So I'm deadheading the pump again. So what I need to do is if I, I've actually got a new connector, so I, sh I should just do what I've been putting off right along, which is changing this connector out. I change that quick coupling out. That should restore my hydraulics, but then I've still got uh, this problem here, which is I've obviously got a bad cylinder. So that's not good. You can see it with the sun behind me, but not looking good at all. Oh, well, just looking at this line right here, you can see the braid is exposed and it has rusted. That's a uh, prime candidate for uh, failure right there. Is that on the pressure line? No, that's the return line, so at least that's not under high pressure. But I'd replace that line if. Uh, if money permitted, but uh, a little low on funds right now. So this coupler I bought a while back, got a uh, new old stock score on eBay for a Parker hydraulics coupler that is the right size for that. So at least uh, that worked out. All right, let's go see if we can't put this coupler on. It's been a day since I blew the cylinder and leaked fluid everywhere. And I ended up finding the uh, fitting, the Parker hydraulic fitting I bought. A year ago and didn't get around to putting in. Wish I had put it in sooner. Only I forgot that I had only gotten the female side. So hopefully the male side that's on there now, which is still okay, will fit. Because if it doesn't mate up with this, then I'm going to have to go buy the male one that fits this. So let's take the Grizzly ATV for a ride. Look, there's the infamous little red wagon. I actually had to do a repair on it for the kids there because the metal broke where the axle went on and then they kind of finished it off by breaking that front handle off, but I'll probably fix that too. Gaskets came in for that outboard motor I was working on, but I, uh, you know, the season's pretty much over, so I don't know. I think I, I probably should get around to fixing that before this winter hits just so it's one less thing I got to think about in the spring. Parking spot for my projects. <laughs> of course there's the Oliver. There's one of the new boats newer boat acquisitions is the uh, 350 utility we gotta get back to. Yep, promised myself I'll finish that one. Alright, so here's the plan. The uh, plan is try and uh, replace this coupler first and then uh, once I've got this coupler replaced I should be able to get the engine restarted and uh, move this cylinder down, move the backhoe down far enough hopefully to re-tighten this nut just temporarily, but obviously we're gonna have to deal with that. 
All right, so that coupling pulled right off. So now we've got to see if the new coupling is going to engage uh, on this uh, male part here. And when I put it on, I'm probably going to get some fluid out because I bet you when this check valve opens, yeah, a little bit of fluid will leak out. Ah, uh, damn it, my luck's just not that good. That's not a good fit at all.